Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode, I thought we'd have a little bit of fun, get a little bit creative today. We're going to be looking at the texture overlay tool inside of Luminar 4, and we're going to throw in a couple other filters along the way, and we're just going to have some fun today. So let's get creating. Let's get started. Okay, we're working with this image today. It was a fun little image. It's a stock image, and I thought this would be a good image to use with uh, some texture overlays because we've got a lot of nice... Uh, you know, some plain light background here with a little bit of clouds. It's kind of a fun image. So first thing I want to do is give it a little bit of uh, AI accent. Because I, as you know, I always like, if you watch my videos, I love AI accent. So let's just give it a little bit, just to even this image out a little bit. I think that looks good. So now let's go over to our tabs over here. And we're in the Essentials tab. Let's come to the Creative tab and let's go to Texture Overlay. Now, when we come to texture overlay here, we have um, load texture, we have opacity, zoom, and advanced settings here. Let's open up advanced settings here, and we have some controls in here. We have brightness, contrast, saturation, and hue. But first off, the first thing we need to do is load a texture. So we're going to click on load texture, and that's going to open up whether you're in Windows or Mac, uh, your uh, file browser. And I already have mine set up and navigated to some textures that I own. Of course, you're going to need textures to be able to load textures. So, and you can find those online. Uh, you can find free textures. And, and a lot of times even uh, Luminar will provide some free textures for you. If you go to their website, you might find some things there. I'm not sure where I haven't looked lately, but you never know. I've got textures off them before for free. Uh, but anyway, let's come in here and let's just look for a texture that might work. And uh, let's just pick one. Like, let's try this Sahara saddle here. Click open, and that texture goes on our image right there. Now, that's really strong. And if you'll notice right now, we're in the normal blend mode. So I can take this opacity and I can pull it back, like so. And that looks kind of cool, right? But I usually like to work with my blend modes. And what I'm going to do is go to uh, the blend modes here. And uh, the good blend modes for me for textures are multiply. Uh, lighten screen is a good one depending on the image overlay and soft light so let's just find one that we kind of like let's let's work with overlay here so let me click on overlay and let's take our opacity and we can take it up the full way now that's a bit strong unless you like that look there right so let's just take the opacity and let's just pull it down a good bit here Maybe somewhere right around there, I think, is looking pretty good. Now, of course, we have a zoom here. Now, if I move this zoom to the left, you can actually see there's the texture. See it? And if I drag it out, I'll fill the screen up. And the nice thing with Luminar, they start out, Luminar 4 starts out by filling your screen with the texture, which is nice. And, of course, I can take my opacity and pull it back. Maybe just a little bit more. Now, of course, we have brightness here. We can adjust the brightness, make it lighter. And we're just really dealing with the texture itself now, not the image. Okay, so maybe somewhere right around there looks good. We can adjust the contrast of that texture. So if you give it more contrast, you'll bring out more of the textures. If you bring the contrast back, you'll subdue some of those textures a little bit. And maybe I want to subdue them just a little bit, something like that. Now, the saturation, this is the saturation of the texture. So we can pull this up and add more of the... Uh, the uh, saturation of the texture or we can take it off the whole way so depending what we what we like and i might just like a little bit of it in there maybe something like that just because i like that warm tone that it's given us there but uh we can also come and adjust the uh hue of that uh of that uh, texture as well so if we don't like the hue that the texture is we can change it to any hue that we like so i could even warm it up a little bit more if i wanted to and maybe somewhere right around in there. And let's play with our uh, saturation. So maybe something like that. Now let's click this eyeball right here. Here's the before and here's the after. So already we're moving into a nice place here. The only other thing I might want to do is a lot of times I like to take the texture down a little bit off of my subject. So let's go to edit mask right here and let's get a brush and let's click on erase and let's make sure our opacity is down pretty much here so right now my opacity is at around uh, it was at 35 percent but i'm going to take it down to about 30 percent and i'm just going to erase it off a little bit 30 percent of it off of my subject here just to clean the subject up a little bit i'm going to make my brush a little smaller using the left bracket key 
And I'm doing a fast job here, so but take your time when you're doing yours. Also leave this image in the uh, link in the description below in case you want to work on it along with me here. But something like that, we just take a little bit off. So that is a good tip when you're w with your subject. You do want to ease off on your textures. And I do a lot of textures with flower images and things like that. So I like to ease the textures off on the flowers themselves. But right like that, that looks pretty good. And let's just click on done. Now let's click this eyeball. Here's the before and here's the after. So we're moving in a nice direction. But I think we're going to add another texture. And I'll show you how we do that. Oh, there's just one thing I want to show you before we add another texture. See these two uh, icons right here? We can flip our texture um, vertically with this button right here. Or we could flip it horizontally with this button here. So that gives you some extra uh, things that you can do with your texture. So you can flip them around and get them looking just the way you like them. To add another texture, we have to come up here to layers and add a new adjustment layer. Uh, because we can't use the existing adjustment layer, we can only add one texture filter per layer, okay? So, so we're going to come back under Creative and, uh, and make sure we open up Texture Overlay. Mine's already open. So I'm going to click on Load Texture. Now let's find another texture here. Let's come to Fly Edges here, open this up. These, these uh, textures have some edges on them. And we could just open them up here one at a time, take a look at them. We can come up here and load up another texture if we don't like that one. Or you could double click it as well. And let's go again. I don't like that one. Maybe this guy right here looks pretty good. Okay, so there's that one right there. I kind of like this one. Now, it doesn't look good right now. So let's go ahead and change the blend mode here. There's multiply. I think mul or that's darken. Here's multiply. Here's color burn. Let's try lighten, screen is not going to work, overlay, soft light, hard light. So all these blend modes are pretty good. Hard light, soft light, overlay, uh, screen. It doesn't work for this particular texture. Lighten could work at times, but not in this one. Color burn, also multiply and darken. I think I actually like darken. So we're going to go ahead and use darken here. And... Let me see what we're going to do next. Let's um, let's go to Edit Mask and let's go to Radial Mask. And what if I were to draw a radial? Now we can adjust the shape of this here. Let's give it more of a... I didn't want to do that. I actually want to just move it. Sometimes that acts a little funky. Come out the edge here, we can rotate it here. We can adjust how it graduates off as well. We can adjust these lines. Okay, but maybe something something around there looks pretty good. And let's click done here. And so, and so now we've taken it off our, our uh, call it a model in the middle. The model in the middle. We've taken it off there. Now we can come back here to uh, edit mask. And let's go back to brush. And because what I want to do here is take the density and pull this density back. So if I want to put a little bit of that texture on her, if I take this density back, you can see that black mask in the center is getting lighter when I pull this density back. So let's just pull it back a little bit just to add a little bit of that on there. Okay, and let's click done. So now let's click this toggle right here. So here's the before and here's the after. Okay, so I think that looks pretty cool. The last thing I may want to do is come to Essentials. And let's maybe, let's work with our Accent AI. Let's see what happens if we pull that up a little bit. Yeah, maybe just a little bit, a little enhancement there. And how about AI Structure? What if we wanted to pull up a little bit of structure, make our textures really come out a little bit more? Give it a little bit more gritty look. Maybe just a little bit, something like that. And now what if we finish off with just a little bit of a vignette? Let's take the amount and just pull it down a little bit here. Let's open up our advanced settings here. And let's go to feather. And if I pull my feather back and also take my amount down, you can actually see the shape of my vignette. Now we can adjust the roundness, how it's going to look. and But I'm thinking maybe a shape like that. Let's pull our feather up. Get a good amount of feathering here. Let's play with our amount here. 
Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now let's click our toggle so we can toggle the vignette on and off. And I'm pretty happy with that. Let's come back to creative. Let's just go back and look at our texture overlay. Remember, we can go back and readjust any of these uh, tools at any time. So if we need uh, more opacity here, we can pull up more opacity and give it more or give it less. Say if we just wanted to pull that back. And I may want to pull that back a little bit. We can also come here with our brightness and adjust the brightness of that. Get it looking just where we like it. And maybe right around there we can play with its contrast. Maybe just pull that back a little bit. And also, we can play with saturation. Now, this particular, um, as you can see, this uh, texture right here, wasn't much color in it. So if I pull the saturation off, you're not going to really see much effect there. Even if I work with the hue, you're not going to really see much much happening there. So if I double-click hue, it gets it back to zero. Double-click saturation. So that's looking really nice right there. And now let's click this eyeball up here. So here's our before. Without texture, and here's our after. And I think it's a pretty fun image. Hey, and remember, there's one other thing we can do here. Let's come back to layers here. Now, on this particular adjustment layer, where we've added our second texture, we can come to this adjustments amount, and we can pull this back. Okay, and get rid of that second texture. And you can see it coming off there. So if we felt we went a little too strong, we can pull that back a little bit. I mean, I'm really happy with it, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it, leave it up. Take it up the whole way. I think it looks pretty good. Textures are a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun to play with. You can take a mediocre image and turn it into an awesome image just by adding some textures to it. Now, this is a really cool image for adding a texture to it. So let's take a look at it one more time. So here's our before and here's our after. I mean, it was a fun image to begin with, but now I think it looks really cool with this texture. I hope you enjoyed this one. Hey, if you like this video, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified about it. Also, please leave comments and questions in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thanks for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, and I'll see each and every one of you right here next time. But until then, happy editing.